Hi, I am Magdi. Welcome to my uh, kitchen and my YouTube channel. Hey, this is Magdi's cooking, not gourmet Hungarian. That's the name. I had no time to cook the chicken, so I got a grilled chicken. Basically, this is a smaller chicken I bought it at um, John's Market. So I took off the skin or the meat and I just put these parts in the water and I will just cook it for like 10 minutes just to get the flavor out because so I am uh, cooking the bones right now and I will take it out after 10 minutes as you can see I cut it up and then I uh, add it to the soup later when the veggies are cooked I will clean my carrots you see every little thing is in work this is top of the <laughs> chicken <laughs> box so then i can throw this out with the bones this way long time ago and it's always hit my hand or something and this way if you hold it like this it's little bit weird at first but after if you're used to it it's so easy you can do so fast because you don't have to worry about your hand this is another idea for you guys i clean this because my husband like potatoes in the soup just one little one and then he's happy okay i can cut the celery and take this part off You have to wash this well because this sometimes the dirt is in here. And I think I will add one more. This is too wide. This and some viewers mentioning, oh, what kind of uh, knife you use or you always use. It. That's what I like. That's what I use. And whatever you like, that's what you use. So easy is that and just because i am showing what i like or how i cook doesn't mean you have to be mean okay because if you don't like it watch something else you know i have to say this sometimes because i don't want to answer people who is mean on the youtube just because you own youtube that means you you don't have to be mean okay i had to say it once at least and then you're done. Uh, I'm done showing because you don't, I assume you can know how to. But my uh, cooking side is for beginners. If you know this, just forward because you don't have to watch what I am doing all, all the way. But some people asking me questions and then I am surprised they did not know. But that's why I have to show a lot of things that maybe you already know. And I do whatever I like. So if you mention something, oh, I never saw it like that. Now you see it, that's all. That's how I do it, try it and then say something okay one more thing i want to show you i always cut like this this is my bad habit but if you hold the knife and then you go like this it's much easier and sometimes i i remember sometimes i don't because i do did it so long that way so that's why you see me cut like this and cut like that and it's i always like to learn or watch or doesn't matter Hold, I am. I love to learn. Not just cooking, other things too. Clove of garlic to any soup of mine, uh, either whole or cut it up. And I like to leave. I of course it's washed. I like to leave the thing on it because uh, this give you uh, a nice color. Like a your soup will get a nice color. And then I poke it because some. Friend of mine don't like onions to bite on or something, and this way you still have the flavor and 
they don't have to pick the onion. But onion and a garlic give basic good flavor for anything you're making. Two eggs, that directions on the box. Okay, then I mix it. Add I two tablespoon of oil. But the recipe will be on the YouTube site. If you don't see the recipe, then you click on show more on the computer and on the iPhone you have to see the title and next to it has a little arrow. Push that and then you can see. And if you get to my channel, then you all doesn't show everything. So it on the top you will see videos. So do me a favor, click on videos and all my videos come up and that way you can see and pick whatever you like to make. And if you have any idea what you want to see, let me know and if I can make it, I will make it. And don't forget to click on the little bell and then you can get notified anytime when I put some new video on. Okay, now I will cover it, put it in the fridge for uh, 15 to 20 minutes, and then after I show you how I cook it and measure it. Okay, and it's delicious. Now I take out the bones. Nothing else in. Okay, I put this away. And then I am adding the soup mixture. Of course, I always add more stuff like my other little knorr ball powder, chicken powder. And I have to say powder because this is in powder. But some people say, what is father? This is father. And onion in whole because my girlfriend doesn't like it. I don't want to pour it because it's hot and hurts you. And you can add a little black pepper anything you desire. Taste it, if you need more salt or anything, then you add it to it. And now I will cook it for, like until the veggies um, soft. And then I usually do the matzo balls. I cook it separately because I don't like when soak up all the uh, soup. I am already uh, warming the water for cooking the meat and matzo. So I, you know me, you saw me so many times, I have my little ice cream scoopers, small, medium, and large. So this way, I always have the same size of meatballs or matzo balls or anything. I like to do it this way. Okay. With the medium size, I get that nine. If you make it smaller, then you can do it by hand too, but I enjoy to make it like this. it's easier to roll, roll off the. I don't use gloves. My hand is clean because I like to feel the thing what I am making. So 
for people who complain about the gloves? That's my answer. Here you go, it's done. This is a little bit small, so I can take a little bit from there and a little bit from this one. And almost the same. And now I already warm in the water and then I'll show you what I do. I am telling every little things because I was asked for it. Water is boiling so I can drop the mozzo balls and I give a lot of water because this will expand. And I've, of course I always put a little salt in it. As you, you can see, it's growing. So gently I move it around a little bit and then after the timer goes on 20 minutes, then I will take it out and I show you the other things. So the matzo bar is done. So I take out a little soup and I will place it in this one, let it, that way don't soak up my whole soup. You see how nice and big is? And this will be delicious. Now I can add the slice of chicken. Cut up, slice up, whatever you want to call. And we cook it another 10 minutes and it's done. And it's delicious. Let me mix it. You can see, and then I serve it with the meat bar. I will serve it with the matzo bars. Okay, the soup is ready. One matzo ball is out, put it here, and I am telling you it's delicious. I hope you like it and you make it.